Pennsylvania hasn't just been introduced into DVD like it was in the live stream. Dracula and Trevor Belmont are actually out in the PTB for us to see. So let's get in and check everything out. Uh oh. Huh? Better restart my computer, but we're finally in it. And uh, let's see here. So let's go check out Dracula first. The Dark Lord. Dude, he's kind of buff. Not strong. He's a strong man. <laughs> Why is he built like a reverse C, dog? Like, what? <laughs> we might as well queue, seeing as this is probably going to be forever. It's Tuesday. What a streak of good luck. It's really just suggesting no in a lot of these. Adept plus no ed, anyone? Adept plus no ed? All right, so we've got our build. Uh, I'm gonna actually kind of read his power and kind of see into like what he actually even is because I've heard he's just an amalgamation of things. And by heard, I mean I scrolled Reddit for a couple of seconds. But let's see what it is. The Empiric Shift. Uh, the Dark Lord has access to three forms, can freely be change between them. Each form has unique abilities and strengths. Uh, the Empiric form in this default state, the Dark Lord can use a powerful Hellfire spell, which creates seven pillars of flame that travel seven meters and can be cast across low obstacles. Okay, so Pyramid Head. Uh, wolf Form. In Wolf Form, the Dark Lord has access to seven, or sorry, several abilities that allow for more effective tracking. Movement speed is increased, blood pool and scratch marks are more apparent. And survivors leave a trail of scent orbs behind them. The Dark Lord can collect these scent orbs to change a powerful pounce attack. Bat Form. While in Bat Form, Dark Lord gains the undetectable status effect, additionally moves faster, ignores vault points, and can teleport to any vault point within 32 meters. Survivors become invisible, but scratch marks can be seen. Okay. So, well, I really just read a Reddit meme and it really just described everything about this. Okay, sounds great. Okay, so I'm excited about this. After reading through all of his add-ons, I've decided that the Iridescent Ring of Vlad, uh, the Hellfire Pillars honing on nearby survivors, reducing the number of Hellfire Pillars by one, and then the Sunglasses, Hellfire has one extra pillar, but increases the charging time by 25%. I figured those are probably the best. Obviously, we got to bring a Mori. Uh, we got uh, Dominance, which is his first part. First time each totem and each chest is interacted with by a survivor, that totem or chest is blocked by the entity for 8 seconds. The auras of blocked totems and chests are revealed to you in white. Human Greed. You see the auras of unopened chests and survivor auras are revealed for 3 seconds when they enter. God, that's annoying. You see the auras of unopened chests and survivor auras are revealed for 3 seconds when they enter an 8 meter range. You gain the ability to kick chests to close them. This ability has a 60 second cooldown. Survivors unlock these chests 50% faster. Hex, Wretched Fate. After one generator has been repaired, a random dull totem becomes a hex totem and curses the obsession. The obsession suffers a 33% repair speed penalty. They also see the hex totem's aura within 12 meters. This effect persists until the hex totem is cleansed. And then, you know, no it is no it. All right, sounds good. Can't wait to get into this. Oh, Lampkin Lane. New killer on a bad map, I think. Alright, let's see what we can do here. So, shapeshift with control. Oh, I can choose. Okay. Oh, this is kind of rad. Oh, I love the chase music. That's actually rad. Oh, you can do two. Oh, yeah. Very cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's radical. Ah, come here. Hey, you. It's definitely not his voice, but whatever. Uh, let's go bat form. See what's good. Okay, this is kind of cool. I dig this. Let's check these gens. Let's go upstairs. Can I kick gens? Oh, so you teleport to the hole points. Okay. Let's go wolf form again. They don't know what's happening. Is it like more advantageous to fly around as a bat? I don't think so.
This is, in fact, pretty sick, though. Oh, actually, I can't see them. I forgot. Okay, so that's seven meters. That's kind of insane, actually. <laughs> Oh, let's go back to bat. I'm going bat. Okay, so I can't... Hmm. Bat seems kind of fast. I like that. I can dig it. Okay, let's shift shift into uh, werewolf again. Oh, so you can break that with balance, okay. Yeah, so this is basically just Wesker, okay. Pretty rad. Not gonna lie to you. Might cry to you, though. So the Hellfire is pretty nice. I like the, the extra distance one. I'm pretty sure it's just like, it's like a double distance like Pyramid Head would have. Is the Iridescent. If it's just one extra, I think that just means it extends the range, which is kind of cool. So I can't see them when I'm in bat form, which is unlucky, but... Oh, let's go. Seems pretty nice for getting around. Oh, there they are. Let's go back to bat. It, it, the teleporting seems pretty straightforward. I like that. Or the, um... How does this work? Okay. Okay, so they're down there. Okay. I'm digging the forms, though. I'm liking this. I feel like that, like, obsession, slowdown, perk, hex thing is pretty nice for, um... Like, just to, to double with Dying Light or something, because normally Dying Light, you avoid the uh, the stacks and stuff. So I'm thinking, like, that and Dying Light would go pretty pretty well together, based on what I know. That's perk, maybe, maybe like the chest perk and Hoarder, I don't know. Yeah, the wolf form is not fast at all, I'll tell you that, so... Just floating about. Okay, so we got a couple of these homies here. I do I do like the power? The power amalgamation is pretty cool. He he kind of seems like a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Nothing seems extremely broken or powerful, but it seems like pretty fun to use. I like the the bat form. I think that's pretty unique. Not being able to see survivors is kind of bunk though. I don't really like that.
Okay, so it does go upstairs. It, it's literally just a better pyramid head. It's just low. It's just low to the ground Hellfire pillars, but I... I it scales better than pyramid head. It's upstairs. That's kind of cool. I still like the bound the bounce gains a lot of distance. Tap on the loose, we got him, don't worry. Oh, he's got dead heart, nice. Neato. Neato. Oh, cool. And then we get we get a funny little noid. It's right next to us. No way. That's massive. That's masterful. All right. Oh, shit. Okay, it's kind of blocked, but that's that's kind of rad. I like that. <laughs> oh, and now I'm just floating in the, in the after? That's sick. That's radical. Okay, all in all, good. I like that. That was good. That's some good stuff. All right, so for Survivor, we've got Mr. Trevor Belmont. We've got um, Exultation, which is sending a killer with a pallet, upgrades your held item rarity to the next tier, and then recharges 25% of the item's maximum charges. Cool. Uh, we get Eyes of Belmont. When a generator is completed, the aura of the killer is revealed to you for three seconds. Whenever a killer's aura is revealed for a specified amount of time, that time is increased to two seconds. A moment of glory. We've got a uh, perk that activates when you open and rummage through two chests. When you become injured, you also become broken. Automatically heal one health state per after 60 seconds. Then this perk deactivates. This effect is canceled if you enter the dying state. This perk will not activate if you are already suffering from the broken status effect. Okay. So you basically gotta get two chests and you kill yourself. This one's just like, I guess, just a combination with things like, uh, you know, I'm actually curious because it's okay. Whenever a killer's aura is revealed for a specified amount of time, that is increased by two. So they changed something. I think they made it so in the description originally, this was like continually added. So this is your, the killer's revealed to you for five seconds. But they said that it was going to continually climb by two seconds every single time it happened, which is, in my opinion, super broken. Because I was going to pair it with object and, like, alert and a couple of other things. But uh, object is three seconds, so it's five also. Uh, I, I'm just going to go... I'm going to run with this. Uh, I'm going to run with uh, a yellow flashlight, because if we stun them, apparently it just upgrades. That's pretty rad. So they say, Trevor's such a cutie. They said, uh, you're a YouTuber. And I said, simp harder, buddy. And then they said, honey with a fatty. Now y'all evil, and I said, now you got that drip though for sure. And then they said, he got that perfect skin, and I said, he seems kind of pale to me, I don't know, he should probably go outside like most dead other players. We love the community here. They only added chests, that's probably, that probably would have been a good idea, I didn't think about that. Okay. All right, poor chase start, my fault entirely. We don't worry about any of that. He's floating, he's floating my way. He's a little scary, I don't really like him. Oh my God, that thing just vaulted a fence. Oh my God.
Get got, buddy. Get ripped on. Oh, it's a green item now. Flame me out. I like that. We got a 30 second cooldown. I I'm actually I'm digging this. I think you chose the wrong person to chase here, buddy. You chose chose not the YouTuber, who's clearly a YouTuber. Probably gonna have a really bad chase, but we'll see what happens. This wolf form is actually really hard to blind. <laughs> cool broken thing happening. But that's what everyone was doing. I bet I don't have any any chests to look through now. What variation is this? I do not like the Yamoka map variation. I don't like that they changed this. It was a good map. Wolf! Look at him, he's chilling! Come here, Mr. Dracula. I just gotta... Oh, well, I didn't like that. Are you gonna farm? Are you... You're farming that guy. Let's go! I wasn't even aiming for that. Let's go! What do you... Oh, he tried to predict the future with his bat mode, and he couldn't do it. Oh, he's vaulting? He's a vault star? Oh yeah, that goes downstairs. That's insane. That pillar of fire thing is kind of crazy. But what if I told you? I still get this vault. Oh, never mind, I don't. I got ruined. I got absolutely mogged by that guy. That was insane. <laughs> a good play, outplayed, I got destroyed. See, here's the thing. If only, I, if only that one greedy bastard didn't do that chest in front of me, actually. I maybe, I maybe had a chance to live. Did that chase 60 seconds? Would I have gotten a health state back? I don't think so. No, oh, whatever. One can dream, all right? One can, like, one can absolutely dream. <laughs> GG's fun times. Killer is ideal, not gonna lie. Dig the free cosplay, dog. You've got my vote. And then really quickly, because I can, uh, I, I would like to... I always like to scroll Reddit a little bit to kind of see what the people are uh, saying of the, this good community about this chapter. Uh, most of it's FNAF, but new chapter is pretty scary. That is terrifying. Dracula's power? That is that is ex exactly what it is. That is exactly what it is. Am I crazy or is this the weakest add-on in DVD? It's pretty close. That was really bad. That was exactly what I thought when I looked at it. Dracula Castle on Ormond. Oh, that's cool. That's pre I Is that supposed to be there? Wait, hold on. Look at a screenshot from Skyrim with the Dracula's Castle mod. That it does. That it does. Love killers that add their own flair to the maps. Yes, but should have also had his own map. Oh, that's fair. Oh, so he doesn't get a map. He just puts the, the castle just goes. Okay, that's that's cool. I like that, though. Guys, I appreciate you for watching the video. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, I, I guess just don't. But thank you so much for watching once again and subscribe or whatever. As always, hasta.